we will always remember Mrs. Peto for the legacy of kindness that she left behind. And once you have worked for her, you'll never forget. In terms of the fabric of Katie and Ashti, Patty Peto is definitely part of the legacy. When Patty was in the room, she would talk to anybody that she encountered. You felt like you had her full attention and that you were her priority. She was one of the most loved and respected principals in KDISD, and teachers were honored to work under her leadership. In her mind, the students always, always came first. She taught me to make decisions focused on students. Students first. When you make decisions based on students, everything else takes care of itself. Patty's first priority was it had to be what was best for kids. In my mind, a great leader is someone who ultimately is teaching you and me how to lead as well. She could meet a teacher or a person and know what their strengths were and build upon those strengths. She was caring and kind and she wouldn't expect anything of you that she didn't expect of herself. If she wanted you to write a letter to each student, then she would write a letter to each staff member. So I have a phrase I use called count on ability. When I think about Patty Pato, uh, she's the epitome of count on ability. Mrs. Pato spread seeds of kindness wherever she went. She had a knack for knowing what people needed before probably they even knew what they needed. For me, the way that Mrs. Pato faced adversity with uh, humility and grace is a model for all of us to live by. When I had to miss because of a sick child, she always, always made me feel wonderful about it and said, family is first, Penny. Always put family first. She was a woman of integrity. That she was honest with those around her. I felt like you always knew where you stood with, with Patty. Patty had a very quiet strength and uh, uh, was never invasive, but quite informative. Whenever she said something like, well, that's one way to do it, that meant don't do it like that. She would listen to all sides, and before you knew it, the conflict was solved. And most of the time, she didn't have to do the solving. The people involved were able to solve their own problems. The seeds of kindness that Mrs. Pato planted have bloomed in the hearts of so many of us. She loved to have fun. She loved dressing up. She always looked for a theme so we could be goofy and silly. Patty would dress in characters, come into the classrooms, get involved, and she was a constant presence on our campus. School spirit was very important to her. If Mrs. Pato were alive today, she'd greet you in the hallways, visit your classrooms, support you at athletic events, concerts, theater productions, visual arts programs, and any other academic endeavors. Mrs. Pato cared about your legacy. Don't focus on things. Focus on your legacy. I think Peto Panthers should really emulate the art of looking out for each other. When you think about creating the traditions and culture uh, of Peto High School, one of the things that you'll be doing is honoring all of those teachers that you have had, who you have admired throughout your school career. I think there wouldn't be a better legacy for all of you Panthers if when you leave the halls of Peto High School that someone could say that about you, that it was an honor to know you. Whether you were on the court or the field or the track or the stage, that you represent Peto High School. I experienced all of these amazing things too, but to me she was simply just my mom. Mom chose my dad and they were married for 30 years. They showed me the best things are worth working for and I'm so grateful to have witnessed their unwavering love for each other, their family, their friends, and their jobs. She always pushed me to be myself and have fun in every aspect of my life. Because of her, I surround myself with people who motivate and inspire me on a regular basis. And the teacher she encountered inspired her daily. She was so grateful to your dedication to the kids and the school. You are an extension of her own family. Patty and I had many interactions over the years, so I knew a lot about her beliefs and what she wanted for children in this district. Those beliefs melded with mine uh, as I worked to create a vision for this campus. 
We strive to sustain those beliefs here on this campus every day. You can see that through who we hire to teach our children, through everything that we do during the school day for our kids, the real world experiences that we provide for them. And now you'll see how those beliefs are actualized during the school day here at Peyto High School. During Panther Pride Day, we established a creative atmosphere which helped build the relationship of our teachers and classmates. The students at Peyto High are always accountable with what they do and always push each other to succeed and do their absolute best. She chose the students. Everything she did, she did for you. Miss Patricia E. Peto was the embodiment of perseverance. The staff here at Peto High School provide us with moral support and encouragement whenever we need it. They give us positive and negative feedback because they want us to succeed in our education and in our life. As PHS students, we want to embody Miss Peto by staying positive, encourage each other every day. Being kind and caring and approachable is very important for a school to be successful. Everyone's always included and no one's ever left out. She chose you, she chose me, she chose us. You should be proud to be a Peto Panther. Mrs. Peto cared about your legacy. Living Patty Peto's legacy, we should reach out to each other, praise one another, give recognition when needed. How fortunate you guys are to be part of the legacy of Mrs. Peto. Don't focus on things, focus on your legacy. Make decisions to create it, and you'll always do the right thing. We will always remember the legacy of Mrs. Peto. I always think of it as an honor to know Patty Peto. I think there wouldn't be a better legacy that someone could say that about you, that it was an honor to know you. In terms of the fabric of Katie ISD, Katie Page is definitely part of the legacy. We really appreciate all she's done to the family. Congratulations on how she very well deserves. Congratulations, Patty.